guys welcome back here at table for six um, just out here in the yard uh, taking this bad boy for a little walk before dinner yep he's enjoying the walk nice day outside for a cookout and nice boy right here look at that you guessed it right tomahawk just taking him out for a walk before we eat him tonight you know so we treat our steak around here guys treat it good it's gonna taste good so anyways we have a process here for this sucker and uh stay tuned guys we're gonna eat some tomahawk guys take a look at that okay guys so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cover this um, steak with some olive oil just a little bit on both sides we're gonna do the bone also uh, that's gonna give it some nice color once it's done and the oil will also help you uh, get that, that uh, seasoning to stick so just a little quick cover here and we'll turn it around so just the way this came this is how we're gonna cook it I didn't trim any of the fat I'm just going to keep it the way it is and we're going to give it a shot. We're actually going to experiment with the grill. Uh, what I'm going to do, instead of just throwing it on the grill, we're going to try to give it some smoke. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to use my smoker, I'm going to use my grill. I'm going to bring over my uh, smoker's uh, charcoal box. I'm going to throw in some hickory and very little apple wood in there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see and put this steak on indirect heat and uh, we'll give it some smoke for I want to say about an hour we're trying to shoot for an internal temperature of 110 to 115 and uh, once it reaches that we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna sear it till we reach about 125 130 degrees so this is a, a process that's called the reverse sear um, so we're gonna give it a shot with this bad boy and uh, we'll see how it turns out and this is not your full tomahawk You know the the, the bone here where, where I bought it is, is cut short, but you know what it's easier to handle so it should be okay um, So we'll go from there. Stay tuned guys Okay guys, so I'm gonna keep it really simple I, uh, I'm gonna use my favorite seasoning, which is just salt and pepper uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, kosher salt. So we're going to do quite a bit of salt here. I'm going to try to do the sides. This is gone, why not? So that should be enough there. I'm going to flip it. To the other side. Do that again. That should be enough salt. And now uh, let's do the pepper. This is a uh, fresh ground pepper. Quite a bit of that. I'm gonna flip it. Now we're gonna do the other side. Can't wait for this one, guys. I've never had a tomahawk steak. I mean, all it is, it's really a ribeye. I mean, we had ribeye, but I've never cooked a whole tomahawk steak, especially this thick. This is about about two and a half inches guys I mean it's a, it's a big steak guys so hopefully we do it right uh, we'll see maybe I might have to go uh, a little longer than an hour on the smoke but we'll, we'll see we'll see how once we reach to about 115 I will take a look at it all right it's very important you get this uh, the fat cap here on the side Good guys, 
And we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. And just so that we get the, the top portion here, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it on the board. We have a little flap that's coming off here, so you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put some salt in there. Why not? And some pepper. All right, guys. So um, this is already at room temperature, so it's ready to go on the on the grill. Again, we're gonna smoke it. I'm gonna say about an hour or so. Uh, so I'll meet you over at the grill. Alright guys, I have the charcoal uh, wood box here and uh, it was on, but you know what, uh, I wasn't, I had not soaked the wood and it was burning too fast, so I just turned it off and I just gave it a little quick soak. Again, I don't need too much smoke, it's only about an hour, so uh, we have it uh, soaked up already, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on now. Let's get, let's get our torch here. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have our wood uh, going here again. This is a hickory and uh, very little apple wood in here. Uh, it's already going, it's got some good smoke uh, and it's not gonna burn out on us because uh, it's uh, just a little bit soaked, not too much. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it. We're gonna push it onto the side here and we're gonna place our steak over here on in the indirect heat. I have these two burners on on low. I'm gonna see if I can keep it at 250. I might have to turn off this second one here. Um, I have this one on high. This one's on This one's on low. So uh, no burners are on over here on this side. We're gonna put the steak here. This is cleaned already. And uh, we'll keep it at 250, okay? So let's go ahead and put the steak on. All right, I'm gonna put it just like that. And no sizzle. Again, this is uh, not hot at all indirect heat we're gonna close the lid and just keep the temperature at 250 and we'll come back in about an hour and uh, we'll keep, we'll check the internal temperature we want to get again about 110 to 115 okay guys so I just want to show you uh, we are at 250 and again I shut off the second burner here I have this one on high and we have the wood uh, burning in there and we're about 250 so we're gonna keep a close eye make sure it stays there and uh stay tuned guys oh i also want to say that uh i went ahead and added a thermometer into the steak just so that i don't have to keep opening up the lid uh so i'm gonna keep keep a close eye on that again we want to reach about 110 115 or so and uh we'll be back stay tuned guys all right guys while we wait for the, the steak here we're having a little game of chess here I recommend you guys this board game. If you have never learned how to play chess, I recommend you learn. It's not as complicated as it seems, but it gets your brain going. Huh? It's exercise for the brain, guys. I recommend it. So stay tuned for that good stick here, coming soon. I just wanna show you guys the good smoke we're getting here. And uh, we're about 300, right shy about 300. And uh, that's okay because again, the thermometer is right in the center of the of the grill here and the meat is over here on the right side so i think on the right side we should be close to 250 maybe 275 or so and that's okay you know it's a big piece of steak so um, we're gonna go with it i have not opened it since we put it in uh the the temperature of the meat inside the meat is currently about 84 85 degrees so uh we'll give it a few maybe another half hour or so gentlemen we have a check me just when you he thought he was gonna be one. Boom! Bing pong pow! Got him. Look at this, look at this. He thinks he, he still he, he still thinks he's gonna sacrifice the queen. Checkmate again. Come on, boy. And the king. Alright guys, the heat keeps increasing. Uh, it's been about an hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and open it, and I'm going to check the temperature. The The other thermometer says it's at 100. Again, we're shooting for about 110, 115, uh, but I want to make sure this is accurate. It's been a while since I've used this, so I'm going to use uh, a different thermometer here. 
and we're gonna go ahead and open it. Let's take a look and see where we're at here. Oh, look at that smoke, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And, yeah, this one says about 94. Let's go in here. Yeah, this one says 95 or so. So, yeah, we're gonna give it another 20 minutes or so. Stay tuned, guys. I just want to share that while we're cooking dinner for tonight, I'm also cooking lunch uh, for the next couple of days, and I'm using my handy dandy Coleman grill. This thing's been everywhere, guys. I mean, you can tell there. It's seen better days. I've had this thing for, I want to say, it's getting to 15 years. I want to say about 14 years or now. And I mean, it's going strong. Look at that, guys. This thing's great. I know they still sell it out there. Uh, you know, go go get if you like to travel and you like that simple grilling, go and get yourself one of these. These things are awesome. Um, they usually use the um, small propane tanks in here, you know, the portable ones. But I have that hose connected to the big gallon ones here. Um, so again, guys, we're cooking lunch at the same time. We're we're cooking our tomahawk beautiful day guys not hot at all i mean wonderful afternoon here so again just show you a little bit of what this coleman looks like now i even lost the tray there so we're having some drip there and i had a foil but uh, i don't know the wind just pushed it away somewhere but anyway uh stay tuned guys you know what guys uh since it's been on this side almost the whole cooking time. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around just so that we can get some consistency here. And no, as you can see, no grill marks on this one. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, we're back and uh, we're actually uh, over the 115 mark that we wanted. Uh, we're about 118 now, so we're gonna take it out of the smoking process here. And we're just gonna confirm with this other thermometer that was reading a little bit lower the last time and let's see here where we're at yeah we're about 113 114 there so that's actually what we want there so yeah we're a few degrees difference from the old one like I said the other one's really old I can't trust it no more so I'm gonna go with with the one I just tried and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it out and I'll meet you over at the table. All right, guys, we have it here on our cutting board. And uh, like I said, the internal temperature is about 115 in, in this thing. And uh, what we're gonna do before we throw it back on the grill to get some sear, we're gonna put um, spread some melted butter over it. So we're gonna brush it on. And uh, what I did on my butter here, I put some oregano for some extra flavor. And we're just gonna cover the whole thing. Even the bone, why not? We're gonna flip it around and get the other side also. Look at that thing, guys. This is beautiful. So just a quick brush on the butter here. And this is about half a butter stick, maybe, maybe less, maybe a quarter or so. Not much. Just to give it that nice color while it's searing. All right, so we're all done here with the butter. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and meet you over at the grill. The grill we wanted at about 600 degrees to 650. Uh, so I'm waiting for that. It should take another minute or so. So I'll meet you over there. All right, guys, we hit. 600 degrees and we're just gonna go with it because I'm sure the grill is uh, a lot hotter than where the thermometer is so uh, we're gonna go with it let's go ahead and throw it in there all right guys we're gonna go ahead and put it right here I found that this is the hottest spot in the grill so we're gonna close the lid 
for about a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes. All right, guys, so we have a lot of grease on the stick, so we're actually going to remove it from the pan. Put it back on the other side, but we're going to give it a full turn. And it's been on here for about a minute and a half already, so hopefully it didn't burn on us. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and flip around. Alright guys, so we had a lot of flame because of all the grease, um, so we actually uh, turned it around about a minute and a half. And I'm going to check the temperature here. I'm going to sear the, the fat cap. All that stuff is melting away, so it's causing a lot of fire here. We should be okay. So we're close, guys. Remember, we want about 125, 130. So we're really close. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it up. Put the top end here. Watch your fingers, guys. I need some metal tongs for this one. As you can see, I try to do the grill marks, but you know, unfortunately, it didn't fit on my skillet, and I don't have a. The grill grates to do the marks, but I tried. You can kind of see the diamond there a little bit. Uh, but let's go ahead and check the temperature again. Uh, it's controlling 120. Check the around here. So we're along about 120 or so. This side is showing 132. I'm gonna give it this last flip here. Remember guys, it's my first time cooking a tomahawk. We'll see how it goes. I wish I had some of those uh, searing grates so we can have some nice marks, but you know what? Unfortunately, this is not the grill for this. I had way too much flame. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be okay. And my, my camera died. I'm using my wife's camera now. And uh, it's interesting. Get this out. All that fat guys. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and check it again. Alright, it looks like we should be okay there. So let's go ahead and take it out. I'll meet you over at the cutting board guys. Alright guys, we have our tomahawk steak here. Uh let's run down the process again. So we smoked it. I think it it went in a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes. We got it to an internal temperature of 115. And now we seared it to about 130 and uh, it's been sitting here for a good 5-10 minutes and now we're going to cut into it. Let's see guys, this is the moment of the truth. Let's see, so we got to try to go against the grain. 
You know what? What the heck? We're not gonna follow those rules. We're just gonna cut into it. Oh man. Look at that guys. We got about a medium rare. I tell you man, this thing is cutting like butter guys. Now, what, do you, what do you say we trust we, we try this end here? I got two testers with me tonight before dinner. And I'm gonna let my son go first. See what you think. Go for it. Let's see that. What do you think? Yeah. It's really good. All right. Perfect. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna let my wife go next. Mmm. This is good. You like it? Mm -hmm. is, is it medium rare? Oh my god, it's amazing. All right, my turn, guys. Oh wow, this thing is perfect. I have, I don't even know what to say. This thing is a medium rare with the nice crust on here. Mm -hmm. uh, tender. I mean, one of the most tender steaks I've had. I, I don't even know what to say guys so again not bad at all for the first time cooking it took a whole total process at about hour 30 minutes or so you know with with waiting for the grill to heat up again and whatnot uh battery dying running out of propane you know everything happened today but overall success guys let's go ahead and cut the middle and see how that looks guys look at that I'm gonna go ahead and try that my mouth is like so water right now I'm gonna try that one right here oh wow mm. Mm. I'll tell you guys that hickory wood a little bit of apple wood on there well worth the wait guys so again guys there you have it we have our tomahawk beautiful steak right here and uh, thank you guys so much for watching appreciate all the support and as always don't forget to like and share this and subscribe to our channel thank you so much bye bye